And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts, with our ninth episode. Yes, we're still going. But not all night long, because this office closes at six. However, we aren't going home just yet until we've talked about the new knives we have for you guys this week. Many of those are from uh, NOC Knives, uh, Best Tech, Browse, Blades, and many more. But first... Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And the bell right next to it. So you know what the haps is with us at Atlantic Knife. Okay. <laughs> Who wrote that? <laughs> Wendy and Marketing bet we couldn't get you to say it. Well... <laughs> I guess she has to pay up now. How much you even get for something like that? 20 bucks. Well, I guess that was worth it. Um, okay. Oh. You guys also have a chance to win $75 worth of free knifeware. Um, we have, that's for our giveaway next week, right? Or mm -hmm. We're picking the, the winner it. next week. Um, you guys get a wee hat. Fancy. Uh... A steel wheel t-shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A Gerber cohort knife. If I could show you. There we go. You can't beat a cohort. Ooh, I like that. I have to do a show on that, maybe. It's a nice little daily knife, used knife. Uh-huh. Uh, a Reich knife flight tag. Because you remove it before flight. Apparently. For your all your suitcase needs. And... An official, very official, Atlantic Knife long sleeve t-shirt. Woo! Can't beat that. Have to get me I those. wear those all the time, except today. The day. Mm -hmm. There is only one more week until the free swag giveaway. So please, please get your submissions about our name in. It's easy. Just drop a name suggestion in the comment section below. And we'll choose our winner next week. All right, let's jump right into it. Let's talk about the table. Uh, first up is the Best Tech Horus Frame Lock. I just want to say mm -hmm. that I am extremely impressed with the quality of Best Tech knives, mm -hmm. especially this one. It has a very quick and smooth opening deployment, and because of the high quality materials, it's built to last. I couldn't agree more. Um, this knife has a gray stone wash finish handle and a CPM S35VN steel blade that's about three and a half inches long and a smooth ceramic ball bearing pivot system. This frame lock along with its pocket clip and backspacer are all titanium. So all high quality materials which are only paralleled by this knife's superior craftsmanship and operation. The flipper also has a small blood groove along the top of the blade, mm -hmm. which has a flat grind. In addition to some jimping on both the blade, mm -hmm. the back spacer, and the bottom of the flipper, flipper stud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This knife only weighs about five and a half ounces and is approximately eight inches when fully opened. Yeah. Uh, this blade also comes with a gray cleaning cloth. Ooh, I don't know what that was. And a uh, nylon, black nylon pouch. But not a fancy tin. No. This Best Tech blade is only 184 on. .com. Uh Suck it up is the... <laughs> suck it up. Um, That's what I thought you said. <laughs> Boker Magnum Dark Claw. Is that anything like a bear claw? <laughs> I guess you could say it's sharp like one, but not as tasty. I am a little hungry. This knife is seven and a half inches long, while the blade is approximately 2.6. Mm -hmm. Its weight almost matches its length at seven ounces, while the black G10 handle allows you to maintain a firm grip in pretty much any weather conditions. Mm -hmm. This karambit style liner lock also has a thumb hole here and a flipper stud for opening, a stonewash finished 440A stainless steel blade for cutting, and a tip down carry pocket clip for carrying. You know, I think my favorite thing mm -hmm. about this knife 
is the shape of the blade. I like how fat. PH fat. With an F. Strike that pose. This hawkbill blade is compared to others. That aspect does make it a bit heavier though. No, what makes this knife a little heavier is mm -hmm. the near solid finger ring. Mm -hmm. Which if you have a finger ring, you don't want them uh, cutting corners, you know, making it thin. You're absolutely right. If they did that, if they did that you might have to make that worker's comp joke again. Uh, the next blade we have to show you is from Browse Blades. It's the Enforcer Blackout Liner Lock. Okay, can we get a little light here? Thank you. Uh, this karambit style knife has a black <laughs> contoured handle and a black D2 steel hawkbill style blade with a flat grind. It also has, yes, you guessed it, a finger ring. This liner locks blade is also about uh, two and a half inches long while the handle is just over five inches. This flipper also has a black tip up carry stainless pocket clip and a unique back spacer with spinal jimping. These go to 11. This knife weighs about five ounces and is from Browse Blades import line. The designers did a great job with this knife, didn't they? Yes, they did. Did you know that the Enforcer was the first folding karambit design from Browse Blades? No, I didn't. Yes, it's true. In fact, Jason Browse created this wraparound style handle here mm -hmm. as to accommodate forward and reverse grips uh. equally well. You can hold the knife either way. As mm -hmm. you can see, you're going to have an exceptional grip no matter which way you hold it. I think that that would this feature really makes this blade, you know, a perfect tactical carry. I believe that's the idea. Yes, it is. I mean, the handle is extremely sturdy and solid. You can just you can just see how thick it is. You can just really, yeah. Uh, if you if I went to you, if you went to use this knife or I went to use this knife, we wouldn't be disappointed. Nah. Uh, well, funny thing though is, doesn't this knife remind you of anything? Hmm. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Who? Please, they're they're almost identical. Identical. What? Come on. I don't see it. <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding. These two blades are similar in style. However, there are some key differences that set them apart. First off, one has spinal jimping mm -hmm. on the blade and handle while the other doesn't the materials on the blade of the handle are different mm -hmm. along with the size and color of each blade not to mention you can just feel the difference mm -hmm. okay okay so they're not identical twins they're just fraternal twins moving on to our next knife which is enforcing the high quality standard through the materials of its handle and blade. It is the NOC Knives Axis Cam Lock Knife. NOC is operated by a knife designer known as Nick One. Um, him and his design team have collaborated with many other famous brands and some international brands uh, as well to create high-end outdoor knives. Did you know that the NOC Knives Factory is located in Yangjing? a city in southern China, and it has more than a thousand years of knife-making history behind it. Wow. The oldest thing I own is a cassette player. The oldest thing I own are underwear. You know, Yan Jing mm -hmm. is a strange word, almost as strange as the word you tried to use last week. What, what was that word again? Uh, which one? I mean, oh. I say tons of weird weird words. It was the one with that Boker Caracal. The cat reminded you of, uh, it reminded you of something really weird you didn't want to tell me. The knife from last week. Mm-hmm. Oh, you mean manage a cockle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wendy bet me 25 bucks. I couldn't get you to say that again. I was, uh, a little worried, but as always. I come out as a champion. This week.
More bets? Not that I can think of. Mm -hmm. Time to settle up, Wendy. Uh, this knife has a TC4 titanium alloy handle and a Bowler M390 stonewash blade, which is about four inches, while the overall length when open is eight. It comes in at about 59.61 on the hardness scale and weighs only 4.2 ounces. And it comes with this snazzy box. Okay, you're mocking me, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. This box is a real piece of art. Its foam inserts are designed to cradle each knife in sublime comfort. Okay, now you're mocking me. Maybe just a little. Mm -hmm. However, this waterproof box does protect the knife, especially if some of you want to attach it to your pack, it's very light. You can just go ahead and attach it with the knife inside. I know I would attach to my pack. And you guys can get this knife on AtlanticKnife.com for only $198. Our next knives are from a new company called Deva Blade. Mm -hmm. The knives are called the Deva Scanda knife. Uh, this knife uh, comes in three different wood material handles, uh, beech, which is this light one, uh, the walnut, and the uh, acacia. We've got all three here for you guys today. This knife has a one-piece full wood handle and a sharp leaf-shaped blade made of stainless OS-8 steel. Mm -hmm. The steel is a mixture of vandium and nickel which increases the retention of the blade mm -hmm. and enhances its strength. The steel is usually specifically developed for Japanese blades. Uh, this knife is actually uh, styled after Taiwan's traditional folding knife, the Shilin. I'm not sure if I pronounced it that right. Um, the long flipper level lever on the back of the blade is CNC machined and smooth to the touch in order to prevent uh, one from hurting themselves on the metal while using it. Though, that's never stopped me. The handle on the darker acacia wood mm -hmm. is thermally modified, which improves the stability and resistance. Each of these knives is about, what do you think, about six Just and a half? half. Yeah. yeah. And the handle by itself is probably close to four. So that leaves the blade being two, a little bit more than two. Yeah. Uh, finally, each of these comes in its own little leather sheath case, which you can attach to your key ring or your belt or your pack. All right, so we don't normally put this kind of knife uh, on. Mm -hmm. What do you think about these knives? Well, I think they're great. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that the handle is only wood, and it's beautifully cut and well-made wood at that. Um, I also like the flipper level lever, uh, which for me allows me to control the blade the entire time I'm opening and closing the knife. Uh, what about you? What do you like? Well, I mean, you know this is not my type of knife. Mm -hmm. But, you know, for low-end knives like this, I think they're maybe 40 bucks, $35, somewhere like that. Um, I mean, they do seem kind of neat. I mean, I like the wood on them. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind using one to crack open a cold one. You know what time it is. It's milling time! My favorite, though, mm -hmm. is the walnut wood one. This one right here? Mm-hmm. Well, I like the thermally modified acacia wood. It's uh, on this one. I think it's prettier. Um, how about you guys? Which wood handle do you guys prefer? The beech? The walnut? Or the acacia? Um, leave what you think down below. Coming at you next mm -hmm. is the SOG Flash Frame Lock. I'm not Sheldon, I'm the Flash! Uh, this knife has a stainless steel handle and an 8CR13 MOV stainless drop point blade, which has a nice stone wash finish. And the reversible tip of carry pocket clip lets you carry your knife however you want. 
The overall length of this knife is about eight inches, mm -hmm. while the blade is about 3.5. It weighs uh, five ounces. And it's a great little folding knife for anyone looking for a, you know, a low dollar, dependable EDC. It's got a sturdy handle mm -hmm. with a unique texture that allows for a better grip. And being that it's a frame lock, mm -hmm. it's pretty sturdy. And like the flash, Uh, following the SOG flash is the Cold Steel Chaos Bowie. Uh, this knife's fixed blade is SK5 High Carbon and is 10 and a half inches long, while the whole thing is 16 inches. This scary carry <laughs> is the same length as the Cold Steel Wild Wild West Bowie, right? Yeah. Yes. It's just a uh, one of those knives that's a single spot worthy, mm -hmm. just like the Wild West Bowie. The handle is six inches long, mm -hmm. with a sixty sixty one aluminum is how it's it's what it's made from, mm -hmm. and has the sturdy hand guard. This knife also comes with the Securex belt sheath. Mm -hmm. This handle also has a skull crusher pommel, perfect for crushing nuts. No. It's perfect for crushing skulls. The next time I have to come in here, I'm cracking skulls. I know I could see this one in the action movies where the guy is fighting off bullets. <laughs> With only himself and this knife. Maybe even doing a little... Uh... I bet Neo could have uh, been better off with this knife. And he could have had it for just $89.99 from AtlanticKnife.com. That leads us mm -hmm. to our final knife, the Topps Knives Rapid Strike. This flex blade is more than eight and a half inches long with a blade length a little more than, than four inches with a tumble finish. Uh, the handle is black G10 material, and the weight of this knife is 3.1 ounces. Uh, this flex blade was designed by Leo Espinoza, and finally it comes with a black Kydex multi-position spring steel sheath with clip and a top survival whistle. Don't I interrupt me. I had to. I'm blowing on that whistle. Well, I can see that your favorite part of this knife is the whistle. Maybe, but this knife is super cool looking. I mean, I'm sure I could use it for tons of outdoor hiking and camping jobs. I think even though I'm not totally fond of fixed blades, because you know I'm not, uh, I think I would definitely carry this knife. Uh, I also like the sheath with the clip, so I can carry it on my pack or uh, on my belt. Ooh, or inside my boot. I like how versatile this blade is as well. Mm -hmm. The blade material, 154 cm, I mean, on a Rockwell scale about 58, 59, somewhere like that. It's cryo heat treated. Mm -hmm. Has large jimping on the blade and the recessed jimping that goes all around the handle. It adds the awesomeness of the look. Plus, it make a great steak knife. As long as you keep that steak in your mouth. Here we go. People are whispering behind our back. Well, that about wraps up this week's show. Don't forget to leave your comments about our name below so you can win some free gear. What? Free knife swag. Sorry. Free knife swag. Bam! Ten more big ones for me. Wendy. Also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at AtlantaKnife.com, where you guys can stay up to date on the newest and coolest knife info and what's the haps here at Atlantic Knife. The what? The haps. What? The haps. 
So at the beginning, the haps, you know? <laughs> Four times 10 is 40. That's what I get oh my God. for you saying haps, 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 mm -hmm. haps. Yeah, well, Wendy's gonna be broke by now, ain't I she? I think Wendy's already broke, but hey, once again, I got played. I'm C, and this is Jewel. Just Jewel. And we are signing off.